ding wala la whatsapp programme canal si bi do si bi ka bonan jia ti es ndilen alba di ma tane njiten ning antu jakle bala jang comme ka ka nyam si bi do si bi ka topical na tam ya ko njikita ak kuma ya ta ning na ko ka cha am fo ning kelti mu na fanno le mbese mu na fanno je nyame mo lai sinan ka topical samba le nan ka telephone line so fo na yele pla as call ke no ali mo le ka cha ali af mo le ali min mira ali min je topico nyinto bi ta to nyale am ak ko ko le ya ta di mina wata bad fon sa ko ka cha am wala mu nyen ko ma siloti ñu waati ko neena ki barol je min ko bonam bantala bankol kan kay tan ni mo lako am saya min keta mo min ñew min nan ko mo tuta ñen jio ko no wala silo kan asiata bakele bade hanim bi mol bi takan do rom fawnu gambia lam fondu afrika tundo banku dol ko neen ba mol bi takane do rom ba sayin sa mu nekki no burkani ko wata to bay am fonni kel suuta mu neela bi lafta wala ka chaala wala ya ci nan nayin topiku natala jang ansu wallahi ya mabbe ti yatta ni ya je wallahi ya malum mu nekki ta gal kata ñi ko ma silo ko ma silo mabbe ti ya da nga wara jël ñato silo ama ge koma silo ñato silo da ko jël koma silo bu ko lo jamo way so demé ñato silo mom everything will be okay mbok ay so le gisé téré ñu ñof bi dañ fassé né waxtaan ak yeen ci affaire yi bak wé bi nga kenn du len ko waxati yagana i think legi almost 6 years ah ni way yeah or even more than that more than that it's been happening since time in memory exactly exactly ni ñangé jël yoon bi té amna lenen lu ko war xam nga so ko démé sétat ko sétat ko amna kenen ko fi indi ko amna daf ñoo join shortly he is aliou jallo a very young uh, mm -hmm. dynamic as well xam nga mu ngi yengu ci kalama bo xamne dafa dafa am solo moy lan moy business understand nga uh, lo lañ bëgg nak gamen ci ñu nek fi nek ci dëkk bi jëma dugg ci ay bagage xam nga gene dara dundal say wajur tok rek gissa wajur lolu amu dara luko dax atene everything nga ewu gissa wajur rek yoy saka saka kilifa everything nga ewu gissa dom honestly neena but then at the end of the day Parents tell me sometimes they have a huge role to play. Tell me, imagine just bara banjul. Cross for buzanu na. Cross for bara banjul like lala walne. A girl, girl, so much. No. No girl, but now man, you forgot right. Some man will be comfortable, you know. So like seriously. Three, four, five hours. You like a gate? I'm with, I'm with my hands. That's it. I'm with my hands. Swimming, swimming. Can't be free. Most of them, they cannot. They cannot swim. Neither can I. It's a problem. Because we don't learn it unless you you take a boarding gate. We don't learn how to swim. Trust me. Coastal people, you don't learn how to swim a lot. But then to my mercy, you don't come. You don't come. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I've been in the tank. So many swims. I've been in the lari. Fit me. Oh, okay. Just as we do every day, we show you what's coming up during this one hour fifteen minutes of the show. So let's go with coming up. And when we come back, we'll show continues. And we have a guest, Ali Ujala, with us. We'll be right back. Your topic is very, very significant. Mais c'est parce que ça ne va pas qu'on sort pour chercher pour la famille. I've been to Russia as well. And what I've realized is that uh, Africans without papers adopt uh, cockroaches because the only time they come is at night. If the journey is unsuccessful, what is going to happen to their family? The painful part of it is the youthful population. A young boy led us to the forest hideout. En fait, à quel âge? Our potential youths, those who should develop our country, are leaving this country to go and develop other people's country. The rich people don't get rich overnight. Where racism is becoming or has become the order of the day. We don't know how many people are buried here. There are no names, no nothing. It's like these people never even existed. I have been to Spain before. I spent there some three years. Instead of going to another country to go and wash toilets, go and clean uh, uh, dead bodies. A woman was bleeding from the head and her arm was broken. Melia now has three fences that cost around 33 million euros. They're up to six meters high and equipped with anti-climb grids, razor wire and cameras and sensors to detect any movement before people reach the fence. We are the only one who can change or develop our country. No one will do it for us. Okay, 
um, the trade is it really, really, really worth it? That's a very good question um, that we're asking. Fa Jaratalale, nda Jarnako, your life at the end of the day is what you um, you at risk to lose your life. So, exactly, exactly. is it is it worth it? I don't, think so. I don't think so. Telling there are better things that you can do here in the Gambia. There are better things that you can invest. There are better, mm. I mean, people that you can even meet. I mean, instead of going outside, uh, spending nights, you know, without, I mean, knowing people that you are seeing on the streets, you know, it's I it's think, very I risky think, to be honest. If, if a person goes uh, to an extent that is willing to risk mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. including his or her own life, yeah. then does that person really have anything to lose? No. Is that the breaking point? <laughs> <laughs> the, your life is the last thing you can lose. Of course, of course, of so course. So if you're willing to put that on the table mm -hmm. to get what you want, then mm -hmm. you're just willing to go the extra mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, you know, the funniest thing is that this journey is very funny. I mean, some people are willing to go, but others are pressured. They have been pressured, I mean, mm -hmm. to go out, you know, whilst they really want to stay in the Gambia and do certain yeah. things here. Uh, sometimes so why not but i'm so whole time you treat them in another side and i guess get up new talks and care i mean super been gone or that are in the air i bought it 12 or one o'clock i'm gonna marry the family you take a lay up none at all and people are we move. I'm moving, man. So you say, "Nello, ni yange, ni yange dem fene." At least, juga na yengu chilena. Mui meche bi, mui business bi, mui lumunti negarek. Exactly. Set out in Boki Poli. Anki inyure na kana kora. Chef nobody. Tana, tana la, tana la, jump in. My friend. Yom de start with naka I grew colonel. Okay, still in colonel. You know news. Does it? But I think um, ningu na wahe is that plus. Mm -hmm. The willingness, determination mm -hmm. to be to do what it takes to Ex make exactly, it exactly. the most important exactly, exactly. The and number to call is 4375905 to get mm -hmm. in discussion. As you call, you know, on um, 4375905, you can make a little more a bin bir muy yoni bak bak we bi nga xamne ni ñang ko jele so ñoy cooperative always of the funny da ngi dégg mutoy ñu la bak we fa always da nga gis ni ñi ak ñu no 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 man front wheel lay da understand nga ni ko di jël bobu yoon because yoon mi dafa terrible ah am na ñene ñu xamne am nañ experience am na ñu xamne demone nañ ci ah su dé yow demone nga ci bi trip mu nga call ci 4375905 nga explain in fact am na kenn ko xamne tanen i was sleeping in it like in the same bed you know with the person yeah for almost 2 3 years okay dem na ci bag we bi wax mako which is very funny madam yeah no no mako 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 imagine and it ki so am visa na ko dewa everyone yeah because a bag we bi dafa over risky ba pare mu nga lu sal life wa so am ko ba sa bot na nga dem wa exactly so exactly does it so din la ko de yegal man ko ko bu deme be fofu no mu ne mane ma ngi ni bir italy it was very funny to me then we explained all my things how it went and everything it was really really funny daf mane force Gary and Dembe can send Galbi, Kupu, you know, Nyumbi, they lend their phone. But then the next trip, Gary Dembe, I'm the Canadas. And then he was even very, very young, you know, below, you know, 25, something sort of, sort of, you know what I mean. And at the third time, Silako Gary, make Duga Beer Italy. So, Lul, Lana Kojara. Then Mokoja, back to question. Yeah. Well, the number to call is 4375905. 4375905. For this is not the first time we're talking about this on the show here. It's like the third time we're talking about um, illegal migration, mm -hmm. and yet the whole thing continues. It's like we have not made any any impact or so. Mm -hmm. But we are hoping we will keep trying. As far as people are going, we will keep talking about the issue because we are Gambians. Gambians don't want to be and no man being any of them are not going to be able to do it. So at the end of the day, you have to lose your life. You still can. We are talking about culture all the time, and we will keep talking about it. The other, thing is what? That, the other thing is that I've been in Europe, you know, like in Europe and then in the US and all this. Lunya was in France, like real picture of the day. Europe, India. 
challenges and all this you know mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you like one of the best audition jobs in europe and the uk mm -hmm. i wait a lot being a if waiter you, or waitress you, oh restaurant okay if you have that you have a decent job i'm telling you <laughs> yeah, yeah, decent 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 job so but i guess they need you do they feel happy with that understand mm -hmm. so uh, normally like i got in your fake nini okay man my fee within two three months mom make this lot of money but then do you know what the real picture that's that's true that is true it's it's just a sad thing sad issue if if the country is young and able-bodied are all to pack up and leave yeah. for, for for back way to europe or yeah. or you know illegal migration what is left behind the old the old and then the you know <laughs> and too too young how can they do anything for the country we have a caller on the line let's take this hello caller <laughs> Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamualaikum. 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 Mm-hmm. Then you put it near can and send back it. Mm-hmm. Um honestly, parents it's I think I'm a huge role to play in this issue because I'm got team to dominant some more young def lately, near Danny send all has to thank you to be your lady. Some more young them tongue at all. It's a whole issue that we need to deal with as well but you know nanya so la call gen wanyi sen bonu mitala ina nyu muna digante and mbal da na be call kala la tele counter la say nyu mu so sonaya we implore that when calling do please reduce the volume of your tv set and so we can uh, be able to hear each other clearly we have another caller on the line hello hello let's go for break okay then, then let's go yeah. on a break so and when, uh, when you come back so that continues. show continues all right Hello, my name is Pamela Samate. And so My name is Inspector Seydou A. Emba, Public Relations Officer, Gambia Immigration Department. And I am happy to join you in the program. Like you said, uh, as per what the Gambia Immigration Department is doing to help at least scale down or remedy the issue of irregular migration. Um, as far as the immigration is concerned, and before I would go into the correction proper, I would definitely make this very, very clear, and that is. The issue of irregular migration is not just a problem of the Gambia, but it's a global problem, irregular migration uh, as a whole. Uh, we have people from different parts of Africa probably uh, going into this irregular migration, and the Gambia is not an exception. And the immigration department, uh, in complementing government effort, we've been trying to intercept these youth and would-be migrants who intend to go on this uh, back way. Uh, to uh, Libya, to Lampedusa, and finally try to penetrate and go to any other European countries. Now, how we've been doing it is um, we have our officers at the borders, uh, the port of exit, before they leave uh, the country. Uh, but uh, this is also faced with uh, other challenges, uh, which would have to do with uh, constitutional rights of peoples. People have the right to move. And then uh, you cannot also just arrest people like that and uh, uh, convict them on uh, a charge that is not uh, uh, recognized in their constitution. So um, it, those are all challenges that uh, we face at the borders. But what we're trying to do is uh, when we have enough evidence and enough reasons to believe that definitely uh, uh, the individual we are interviewing, his uh, objective or his aim is to go to Europe through those dangerous routes. 
we obviously use our own discretion and uh, intercept those individuals, bring them back to Tanje at our immigration center, where we invite the Ministry of Youth and Sports and other stakeholders who would come and talk to the youths and listen to them. And we will always try to also establish uh, uh, facts uh, from what they are saying. And uh, at most of the time, too, um, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, uh, through uh, the support of government, too, um, they do interview these boys. And there is currently a, a project that is called the ECOWAS Pain Migration Development Fund, uh, through which uh, the government is also a partner, too, and the immigration is part of the implementing partners. In that project, uh, youths across the country are targeted, uh, would be migrants and returnees and uh, other people who are vulnerable or are at risk of uh, embarking on this journey. Uh, these people are trained on different skills of their choice through apprenticeship, um, where they would be trained at any workshop after the training, they are supported by purchasing the materials that they need to continue on their own workshops and train others too. So this is done and is coordinated by the NTA, National Training Authority. So these are all uh, initiatives that are done to make sure that uh, the issue of irregular migration is being scaled down or uh, completely remedied. But uh, like I said, uh, there are many other challenges because uh, from uh, statistics, we've still realized that most of these youths are supported by their own families and uh, it's always difficult to know actually uh, who is definitely behind this yes because uh, you don't find them with the money and most of the time they go along the way their parents keep sending them the money we have seen instances where our parents also have sold their compounds to just uh, pay for their boys to go to this bag way and they end up, most of them end up dying uh, along the way. Yes, actually it has definitely registered uh, a, a very, very uh, good impact and it has yielded dividends to the people that have definitely taken the training seriously and uh, there are others who have now opened their salons uh, from that training. There are others who have opened their uh, carpentry workshop through that training so obviously I would say the training and it's in different different uh, um, um, phases and phase one and two and other phases that they will be continuing just to make sure that they help to uh, remedy the issue of this irregular migration by providing better alternatives for the youths to at least stay in this country and then uh, make the best use of the available opportunities. The Gambia Immigration Department uh, is the body that is responsible for the movement of people that are coming into the country, those that are within the country and those that are going out of the country. So obviously now as much as uh, migration is concerned, immigration is concerned. Uh, it's a concern to immigration. So um, uh, people uh, who have been dying abroad and anything that has to do with outside the country, obviously the Gambia Immigration Department would be interested in it, but then we are always communicated to as far as uh, foreign affairs is concerned through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs that anything that had happened to anybody or any Gambian outside the country uh, we would always rely on the Ministry of Foreign Affairs that would feed us through our line ministry that is the Ministry of Interior. But the last time when uh, it happened that uh, there were some Gambians who were part of those people that lost their lives uh, there, those details and those names were sent back and they were communicated to uh, by foreign affairs through our line ministry as the Ministry of Interior. So, of course, yes, uh, of recent happenings, we are very, very concerned about that. And uh, uh, we are doing our level best to access any information that is uh, uh, meant for the Gambia Immigration Department and for the general public. If you can remember, I think uh, sometimes last year, the similar scenario had happened people who've lost uh, their lives through this back way and of course yes we did receive that uh, that list of people who passed away and when I was approached by the media regarding that incident I did confirm the issue that yes there were some Gambians who've lost their lives uh, into that uh, 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 during that disaster but I think here the most important thing is 
um, uh, youths of this country and uh, everybody that is in this country as far as Gambia is concerned and citizenship is concerned is for us to make the best use of the, uh, the available uh, opportunities. We need to tighten our belts and our knickers and give no excuse in making sure that uh, we get the best out of the rest. Yeah, I believe uh, uh, in as much as there is peace and stability, the youth should be able to make it up here in the country. I, I had always believed in one thing uh, since school days, and that is um, being born by poor parents doesn't determine your future. You need to break a yoke and sow a seed that would germinate fruits into your life. And uh, I think uh, people who have such formulas at the back of their mind always excel. Now, if you look at in the Gambian context, I always say, and I said it, and I can say it loud and proudly, that um, to be successful is very, very easy here in the Gambia. And I give you a simple formula. I said it during my last program with the Prime Minister uh, on that little bit. Like, if you are going to school and, and you are focused in your studies, Obviously, you come out with good grades, even if you don't come out with completely excellent grades. If you come out with even three credits or four credits or five credits, you can enroll to the college. You are not paying a dime at the college. Instead, you are given a stipend. Now, when you graduate from the college, if you do the HTC or the HND program or any other program from the college, you are accessing automatic employment. You don't go out to search for employment. Because if it's the HTC that you've do, that you uh, uh, opted for after graduating, uh, the Ministry of Education absorbs you straight away. And then if you mm, do nursing or the HND program, the higher national diploma, uh, higher uh, national diploma in public health too, which is uh, free of charge, you are not paying anything as a student and a Gambian citizen. And all those are, are, are direct employment that could be accessed by the youths. Now, and if could you imagine uh, somebody who graduated uh, from the college with the HND program, you are receiving, uh, if my memory can serve me right, a grade 7 salary, a government pay scale. If you are receiving grade 7 or 6, that's, that's, that's definitely a, a, a good start for an individual when you do not pay a, a dime in your studies. So I think these are things... Uh, uh, available opportunities that everybody should grab and not only that we have seen so many other things that people can do and uh, enrich themselves and survive and make a living and you live a happy life you don't need to go to Europe to be successful and you don't need to be a university graduate to be successful you just need to be determined and you would achieve it obviously yes okay welcome uh, back after that interview with uh, inspector Seydou AMA Ba. A M Ba. Yeah. yeah. I am PRO of immigration. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that interview. And um, there he was talking about what can be done as as young people. What can we do in mm -hmm. uh, in order to avoid going to uh, illegal migration or going to to the back way? Mm -hmm. The thing is, wherever, wherever you see an effect, there is always a cause. Of course. Right. And we should also find time to talk about what is the cause of illegal migration. Of course. Of course. As well. But we should remember that. Mm -hmm. All alone no, and the government difficult. cannot stop people from going mm -hmm. you cannot imprison a person simply because he wants to travel mm -hmm. that would be probably violation of the person's right to yeah. movement so at the end of the day it's we who need to help ourselves try to find a way out for ourselves mm -hmm. but if you want to join into, into in the discussion mm -hmm. you can call us on 4375905 and we talk about the topic today we're talking about illegal migration Answer. I think the, the best thing we can do, Thening, is that we have to inside ourselves. Instead of people inside in us, but we have to inside ourselves. Mm -hmm. And the best way we can do is um, either you go to the University of the Gambia after graduating from high school, or try to do something, Gambia, initiate something. As, as Inspector said, Gambia yeah, College. Exactly. Go to, yeah, go to Gambia College. Okay, Go to Gambia College, or you go to the Gambia Hotel School, or go to the University of the Gambia. There are a lot of options. Or mm -hmm. at least try, try up something, like initiate a business, sort of. Okay, mm -hmm. We have a call. Hello, caller. Okay, I guess 
Okay. 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 My friend Elum Donward, of course, of course, Jilay from the heart, you know, so it was really important for him to spell out the things that he really wants to. But then the thing is, Tenning, does it, Tenning? Tenning, by all the beginning, to be honest, uh, if you never like gender something, but Jigeni, Jigeni Gambia, mashallah, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to be honest, man, to be honest, they're, they're really doing good. I think also, you know, Gambian, I mean, young people as well, I mean, men in general, they're also doing good, to be honest. Because so was said that I'm Tenning, and not only the Gambia. Okay. But other countries also in Africa, they're also doing the same thing. But then the thing is, uh, in the reflection money back, you hold, you demon for three years, four years. Nakala gani kadi dunde for funo. I'm with paper. Look at the nakadi def money kanyunge height. Wala di def job you have. Just watch some documentaries. Trust me. Tenek nakadi 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 Hello? Hello, uh huh. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Content na kubah ba. Try na baso na tutu ba gede na kama gawa gede. Burgera ba, burgera. Program dem na solo. Jere ba, thank you very much. Yen nge wakta ni lo am solo. Yen nge wakta ni lo ham ni tiga tiga. Lipe ki sunu ndaw ki yoni kenaw ki tepo pari tepo bi. Je me disais que c'est un peu de temps pour que les fans soient là. Ok. Maintenant, si vous avez des gens qui ont fait des choses, parce que je me disais que je ne sais pas ce qu'il y a, je ne sais pas ce qu'il y a, je ne sais pas ce qu'il y a. Et c'est ce que j'ai vu dans le monde. Il y a des gens qui ont fait des choses. Jadi kalau ni kena hutan pada yang ikut dia harus jauh sedom nak kau demal jai sabakan. Dulu mahu dia demal ngarai sabok. Wah. Dulu lagi. Definitely. Jauh dengan dia ada fakta ni alili adina. Oh, hobi adina ini world betah nak demal jai sabakan. Jadi mau bayar hel. Ia mungkin masih tajus. Terutama amal demal hari. Walaupun internet mangkuk jis, mungkin minyak nasi boom. Kena kucing ni kaya yang hijau. Kecuh bubeli, mui orang ganti kup. Tapi lu tak mui cina kucing ni kan dah doy laut aksa bob. Dek, beneran bersih bersih mui. Okay, amna barang doa le unik kecik biru tekapi. Kayi mandem mui wahne, bufet kene gur gur dunia nyom nyom. Warna nyom muna am bela, bela association boham nyom barang doa le. Kena kucing ni kan, don beten atak ayi orang johera. Yudil kup dugal kup bufu, yutan dah ayi nau. Jembal elen ko, jambal elen ko. Supaya kena tak, am kata, am masih kiri fayoh am kata lagi. Muna nyu jenar lu tulis jero mitak. Wah. For example, level mabena, level kenen bena, level kenen bena. Apa yang dia dijai elen, yang dia fayoh. Mhm. Suk suk suku demi begini yang jadi taksi bobole. Mana ko jalan sah bos lah, sah halis dari siwar na, izin itu. Mhm. Am, way dah ngaji kita yang lu 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 liup, am tay dah ngadem jual tu bintang sah lah. Muda halal jual tu ter, ur nuk ur yal muda lagi jauh berdasar. Mandem apa nengnya nih kita mesti mulai tu tugas si jari orang ikan awai tiga lupa ken pun muda mian ikan awu. Nah man bakal ki my duty ni dari jalan lu mak. Wah, dia dia gel mana suah ni agak sih. Seneng mana sah sop sah pun lebih peradai. Lo la lo la bukan apa bukan apa sah sop ni lebih kencang nak cakap. Darah jaga sudi wah darah. Wah, jadi. Wah, mrafet nterap. Terap sa. Terap sa. Kita semua lihat, of course, balance, apa balance, both sides. Both sides. Kita semua sedih tapi, at times, standing condition, 
more than more than yeah condition because more than more than more from the beginning so you say that we go through that extent of take uh, life um, mm. on the plate and he will do anything yeah. there's a reason for it of course of course because yeah, you know there's a saying that says only a madman goes to bed while his roof is on fire <laughs> that's that's a funny thing <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That, Why, okay he mentioned something which is very true mm. um, okay my luckily so say I will call him for I call funding kill the man can you name way taxi kodota I taxi lulu sang I I funding kill don't tell a pro nipparita ya joala kodola oil for ninki jima makuila la miat naititano nyankoma silola so to say mommy alon koye sembo soto ale ye so na fulola ya yentele na fulola tala la ye ye mol mako ye for ninki el dema isaje uh hakilo tala nyankoma silofa mokam because niya ye mobita koma silola kule ya sabo i ulula alfananta for jela ulula ke milke dingol duni koma silola tala we we have a call on the line when we come back we continue with that hello yes i'm yali abi yandara Talente. I mean, not a you know, but I'll find a thing. I mean, we can get one that could be similar to the level control now. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, look, I got a good one. Look at that. I mean, mm hmm. Very good. So, very fun. Yeah, you pay to Africa funds and a hundred to go. I'm not getting the agenda, madam. Imagine if you can look at the money, then call me a look of the first of the economy and all of you see the equatorial. You know, Africa, no, it's just one from my way back as well. Online. Is estimated at one point, uh, sorry, one hundred, one thousand eight hundred deaths. Uh, souls are in the Mediterranean Sea. It's like a graveyard, a mass graveyard for for young people, and it's all of from all of Africa. I think we need to find more new them with the Vox Pop and then come back, so we can have our guest, Ali Ujalo. Yes, one of Gambia's finest entrepreneurs. When we come back, the show continues. You're watching GRTS, and this is what's all. The back way of dub illegal migration is actually a call, a cause of concern, not only in the Gambia but also across the continent. Um, the amount of young people that we keep uh, losing as a result of this illegal migration is like both push and pull factor that actually uh, led them for them to risk their life, uh, not only to die in the seas but also even in the deserts. Um, and we have seen over the years uh, the, uh, the consequences of these things, the consequences of risking your life for a better life in, in Europe. Uh, I can tell you that um, I've been to Russia as well, and what I've realized is that uh, Africans without papers adopt uh, cockroaches because the only time they come is at night. Uh, what am I saying? That difficulties are everywhere, and that getting papers in Europe now, it's, it's a big issue and that uh, the continuous uh, uh, exploitation and influx of young people into Europe, it's uh, something that we really need to look into. As a youth, I believe, yes, we have challenges. Yes, we have difficulties. Yes, uh, we have a huge gap to work on. But I just want to say that we have to believe in ourselves. We have to focus on education. We have to focus on developing our continent. Actually, Bakwe, I'm not in line with those people who are willing to go to Bakwe because I think it is a waste of time. To them, they think that by going to Bakwe is that they are going to help their family. But have they at least one seat to think that uh, what is going to happen if they die along the process? Because to me, it's going to be a 50-50 chance for them. So if they travel to Bakwe, 
what is going to happen if they happen to die or if the journey is unsuccessful? What is going to happen to their family? How is their family going to cope in their absence? They are only th thinking about their own selfish interests because if they go to Baku, people will say that, yeah, I'm in Italy right now. But what if you did not make it? Your family are going to suffer because they are highly depending on you. This issue of illegal migration, uh, it's, I believe it's not a journey that is worthwhile. It's not the journey that is worth taking since uh, we all know the risk that is involved and uh, the, most, uh, the painful part of it is the youthful population. People who are supposed to be uh, nation developers, who are supposed to work very hard to make sure we lift the gap, we lift our our country and our Africa in general to uh, the the place that we want it to be, are the people that are venturing into this sort of this journey. Uh, such uh, such people are going to these uh, uh, countries to. Uh, become uh, in uh, conditions that are not at all uh, conducive to them. What you observe nowadays is you can see that most of our able bodies, like the youths, are living towards the back and going to back way, which is not very important for this country. Because like, most of them are complaining that they don't have a job, they don't have that, they don't have that. But there are some other people who are leaving school and going to back way. And then, in the real sense, if you look at that, Going to Bagway doesn't mean that you are going to get a job automatically. There are other people who left and they're in Bagway spending months and then spending several times in the campus or in their journey before they are, arrive. And then the time they spend on the campus also consume a lot of time in their life. Uh, Bagway to me isn't the best way because looking at it, these people who go to Bagway didn't go there for free. Actually, they hustle money before they could. Uh, half fair to them for them to go to Libya and then took the sea to Italy. So my advice to them: you hustle to have this money. Why can't you hustle the same way for you to use the money and reinvest it in your country and make something out of yourself? Then you risk in your life into the sea, and it's, it's like gambling with your life. It's either you live or you die. So the, there is no point you wasting your life or whatever you have to do just to make a living out of yourself or make something good out of your life you can actually do it here because there are so many things there are many jobs you can take up so the problem with gambian youth is we we are too picky we looks for we look for job that are easy or whatever we don't look for something that is hard and they always they easy to give up on everything so to me giving up is not the word and struggling is the word because Everything in this world don't come easy. Even the rich people don't get rich overnight. Or well, they didn't make it in Europe. They make it. They made it here and then travel to Europe every time they want to. Thank you. Today we're talking about illegal uh, migration um, back way, associate Komasilo, Konkana Fai, back way, Nafai Komasilo. What's the difference between back way and Komasilo? <laughs> <laughs> back way and Komasilo, big clean. I mean, big clean. Big clean. Yes. Okay, now, yeah. um, and so? Yeah, I think uh, we just have to introduce this gentleman who is just next to me. And then he's also a colleague, uh, not, not colleague in fact, but a classmate. We were in the yeah. same class, you know, so it's a pleasure, of course, to introduce you, uh, Ali Ujalo, and then welcome to WhatsApp. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Ali Ujalo is the current uh, project manager at um, American Chamber of Commerce, uh, AMCHAM, Gambia currently working with close to 300 SMEs in the Gambia, champion major initiatives such as, uh, Tene? Uh, micro Enterprise Development Training, mm -hmm. the first ever Youth Entrepreneurship Week, uh, year, year 2014, mm -hmm. the Ultimate Entrepreneur Workshop, and most recently was awarded $150,000 to establish the first ever startup incubator program. First Gambian to be accepted into the group of uh, 61 semi-finalists for, for, the, for the global innovation um, science through technology, a uh, business plan competition supported by the U.S. Department of State. Innovative and you know, creative, creative um, social entrepreneur. Yes, 
he has a BSc in economics, UTG, from the University of the Gambia. Mm -hmm. Two years working experience at the American Corner. Mm -hmm. Initiated various entrepreneurship development programs and also founder Young uh, Entrepreneurs Association, Ye Gambia. I'm saying Ye Gambia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ali Jalo, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Ansu. And thank you, Tenning. It's, been, it's a pleasure being here. And I think that's good. First and foremost, um, success doesn't come in a day. It's, yeah. it's a process. It's a journey. You have to go through that. For you, how was the journey like? Um, it was really um, not an easy one. Yeah. yeah. Um, basically, before you, people see um, the facial values as to what you have accomplished or what you've achieved. Mm -hmm. But it takes way, way more behind the scene things that you'll be doing um, that actually we can, I can see, I can still remember dating back to this <laughs> <laughs> out school time that we have um, in Tenning, we used to spend the night at Newsread yeah, for almost two to three months. We don't, we don't go to our houses Those were the days, just to man. study, you know, <laughs> just to get our grades, to get to university. Oh, it was all a dream, yeah. but at the end, the results um, was, the results is always easier, of course. but the behind the scene work is always even the hardest, hardest thing that you can ever do. And uh, it takes commitment and persistence actually to move forward with some of those things. That's interesting. Um, you, you know, the reason why we invited you today is because of um, this thing, which is, of course, a concern, not to um, an individual, but to everyone. Yeah. And we are talking about this backway thing, you know, uh, the illegal migration. And then now it is uh, monotonous that a lot of young Gambians are taken this way, which is really, you know, disheartened. Um, what, what would you like to tell us um, regarding this? Will you, will, will, will you, if you were not given this opportunity to have this job that you are right now, that you're currently manning, um, will you take this backway? I don't think taking the bad way for me is going to be a failure. Yeah. And failing um, in life, um, you have to determine success mm -hmm. as way more than traveling. And it's more important than to what you can do and impact on the lives of others. Mm -hmm. This is um, what I believe in, and this is what I work towards, mm -hmm. um, helping other people. Mm -hmm. And going through the back way is something that I think we need to discourage, but we also need to give incentive to young entrepreneurs. We need to give incentive to young people that they can make it in this country. We need to assist them as to how best they can move forward um, towards um, developing their ideas, their businesses, and giving them opportunity to stay. And this is what I've been working on for the past um, three years or so in terms of this is the real motivation behind founding the Young Entrepreneurs Association. We have to create people getting out of high schools, university, being job creators, being people who are going to create those jobs. These are these people who are going to come out of um, themselves, do what they love, and you give them an opportunity. And I think I, I was just speaking to a friend who actually went to the back way and he called me through Facebook. They're very active Facebook. <laughs> People yeah. with their picture, you, know, <laughs> you know, yeah. and he called me. I was like, "Are you coming?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm coming." So he's like, "Yes, yes, he's gonna come." <laughs> like, you know what? I said yes. I said, um, "What do you think?" And he was ex explaining to me how hard it was and how risky it was for them. And even right now, they're there. They're not settled. They don't have anything else that they want to do and things like that. I was like, you can make a great thing in this country. There's a more opportunity in the Gambia than you can actually find there with persistence and determination. Um, I think going to the Facebook is some people escape of reality. They think um, going to the Europe is an easy way where you find easy money to get it off. And off. Anywhere you find yourself in the world, um, with hard work, determination, and persistence, you will slowly get to where you want. Of course, of course. Okay, let's let, let's come back to um, the role of young people in in helping young people. Because okay. yes, the, the the elderly have done their part. Okay. It's young people who can make more impact towards other young people. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So, what do you think is the main ideal solution to the entire backway illegal migration phenomenon? Mm -hmm. um, creating an entrepreneurial ecosystem creating an ecosystem where people will have um, a sense of belonging, mm -hmm. people will have hope, and people will, will, will regain back um, their belief in, in what they're working towards. That if you work hard towards establishing your own business, if you work hard towards establishing your own job that you're currently doing, 
you know you can actually make it to wherever you want to be because if you will you said in as much as you can dream it depending on setting on those goals out there and working towards achieving it so young people creating this ecosystem I think um, one of the solutions towards this is us building an entrepreneurial ecosystem an ecosystem where young people can create jobs young people can have something that they can hold on to because young people can um, use these opportunities to actually mm -hmm. um, boost to the next level mm -hmm. and this is something that is you know it's essential to giving them hope in terms of also in, in terms of supporting them to moving out to the um, next level in terms of their dreams and aspirations in life okay. yeah. now tell us about your organization and learn that um, there is one organization called um, operation no back way so are you, are you are you in one way or the other working with them um, not um, directly because all what we all um, the aspiration is to the Young Entrepreneurs Association of the Gambia. Um, the main idea is to turn them to be entrepreneurial mm -hmm. capabilities. It's, it's, it's changing young people's mind and building their entrepreneurial capabilities to to start and venture into different businesses. Mm -hmm. And this is all just what discouraging people from going to the back. Right, right? Yeah. It's also discouraging people to giving them into something that they can hold on to, that they can actually be successful and be whoever you want to be. And you can be like Mohammed Jai, you can be like Papa Yusufan Jai. We have examples that are doing. We also have young people and young entrepreneurs that are doing like the likes of Khalifa M. Fal and these people who already started yeah, yeah, their the businesses. Harvard Driver, Mr. Manga. Harvard Manga. Driver, Mr. Manga. Yeah. All these people are young entrepreneurs that have started in the Gambia and made it in the Gambia. So I always had this aspiration and inspiration that look, I have to start something and I have to do something in my country and made it in my country to show people that look, you can make it here. And, and if I can tell you, I've never even traveled, I think only traveled once to Dakar, you know. <laughs> You know, wow. uh, everything else, yeah. So everything okay, else, I have an exclusion to that. You know, <laughs> this is some some of the things that gives you the opportunity. No, yeah. You know, to only. It doesn't mean you, sometimes some opportunities come your way. You know, you have to travel this one. Yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. you have to start. You have to have a dream. You have to have start a passion. Something, you know. Yeah. You understand. Yeah. You have to walk towards accomplishing something. I think uh, Gambians, uh, as Gambians, sometimes we don't believe in the concept of made in, made in the Gambia. No, no, no. Yeah. We don't believe in that. The, the <laughs> moment we see made in the Gambia, like, I leave out. No, 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 no. <laughs> we just disregard it completely and totally. It's, it's high time we start buying that idea and then believing it and then walking towards having that made in, and, made and, in and the Gambia. And, and let me tell you the funniest thing. Do you know that um, there was a time I was working as a waiter in a restaurant at Senegal not long ago? It was just around November. I met with even Lami Manga and then he was like, Excite me, love you, Uti. I was like, ah, the man you <laughs> Yeah. And, and by then I was working with a Belgian we have, we have. Hello. 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 Uh, many of these boys, they are fake. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They are on the internet, uh -huh. taking the gaff, uh -huh. showing them photos. Uh -huh. yes, that, that even doesn't signify the real person that they are. Yep. And some of the, these people, if you ask them to, like, the, the road they were taking, uh -huh. and until they reach to this uh, Europe, uh -huh. Yeah, that's true. Really, really, brothers, I, I don't know what's wrong with them. Because if you, if you look at the words, those who went to that place, what have they built in the Gambia? That's, that's, that's the million dollar question. <laughs> what have they done for the Gambia so okay. far so good? <laughs> it's, it's, that is a million dollar question, to be honest. Done. Honestly, um, she, she just asked the million dollar question, what have they done so far so good uh, for the country? I right, know, let's go for okay, break and yes. we come back. And, and when, we, when we come back, then the show continues, uh, Mr. Ali. Yes. <laughs> right. Hello, my name is Ali Diallo. My name is Satan. What's up? I think that it is actually a very bad thing because instead of going on back way and risking your life, you spend a lot of money, you know, to be able to go on back way. So instead of you actually taking the trip and risking your life, you could invest that money into a business. You know, we're now, right now we're trying to promote um, entrepreneurship. Instead of spending all that money, going on a trip that you, you're not even sure you would be able to complete. Okay, so you go and then what? 
it's not it's not a hundred percent guarantee that you're gonna have a big life, have a successful life. Even if you go there, you have to work hard. So how about you stay in the country, you work hard, and by investing that money, building a business, and working in your country, you're actually developing your country instead of developing another man's country. Uh, back we has caused a tremendous damage to our society, uh, from my observation, because particularly to the economy. I mean, if you observe, our labor force has totally declined because young people are going and they are the people who can work for the society and economic in general um, uh, in the future. So if we are losing those human capitals, you know, it's going to be a serious damage to our economic tomorrow. To me, the advice I have for youths, they should engage in skin training. Most of them, they lack skin training. They don't want to engage themselves in that. Most of them, if they go to school, I don't know if they, after you get your they will be sitting down at home without doing anything. But if you involve yourself in those skill training, you have skills in skill training. No one will employ you. You'll be, not the, instead of being a job seeker, you'll be a job creator. I believe even if you are in the Gambia, you can make it. So my advice for the youth is that let's stop uh, going through the back way and start and, and, and try to do something here that can benefit us. Because we have seen many people, I have brothers who went through the back way and they are still in the camp without doing anything. One year you are in the camp, only the lucky guys will have documents. And even if you have the document, that's do, that does not guarantee you a job. If you are traveling to Europe, you should go there for a purpose. So if you are going to Europe without any purpose, um, it does not really make sense. So for example, if I go there to do my master's, or my, I go there to do my BA, or I go there for a training, that makes sense. But to go and say you hustle in a nation or a country that segregation, where racism is becoming or has become the order of the day, where people see you as a different person, but also where people uh, you know, label you negatively. It's, it's something that we also need to reflect on. I learned that our human capital is getting lower and lower every day. Our potential youths, those who should develop our country, are leaving this country to go and develop other people's country. Me, the way I see it, I was telling my friend the last time that still we have slavery. It's just in a civilized means. Because all the people living in this country, when they go there, they will be enslaved. Yes, they will be enslaved in a civilized way, though, but I, still, I can still call it enslavement. They will determine what wage they will pay you. They will determine what work you will do, the hours of work you will do. Instead, we could have do that. I prefer being a slave in my country than to go to another person's country and be a slave down there. Okay, welcome back after that. Uh, and yes, for the best in hair and makeup, Jarabas Divine Beauty Salon. <laughs> yeah, someone said uh, we it's like slavery is back again. And I was talking to someone last night. The person said um, during the during colonialism, yeah. uh, it's okay, actually during slavery, yeah. we were carried in ships and taken. Definitely. Now instead of we being carried, we back up, put ourselves in ships, <laughs> and then go <laughs> to be enslaved. It's so it's like new form of slavery. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. But let me just give you this example. To be serious, yeah. like nine is it? Uh, okay, one year ago, a couple of months, uh, almost two years ago. I was working with one Belgian project at the same time, night time, I go for, uh, you know, working in a restaurant like as a waiter, you know what I mean? So I don't see why, I mean, as an individual, as a young man, you're not, you're not doing such, such kind of things like that. I was there, a lot of people were passing me, yeah, you know, you have one, yeah, and so, well, yeah, I'm so flying cool. by that. Why? Yeah, because we're flying, I mean, we're flying terrorists, we're flying, 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 we uh, hello, what's your name and where are you calling from? Huh? And if I'm in the line declared, we are taking a call again. Yeah. Line declared, we cannot hear you at all. We don't understand. Hello, you're not there. You're not there. Why are you not there? Okay, you can call again. Munga are there also call yeah. me again. So now, now, now the thing is, Alu, can you tell us about your your activities, your your project? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, basically, um, as you just mentioned briefly, um, I'm the project manager of the startup incubation program under the 
American Chamber of Commerce, and it's uh, sponsored by the Department of State under the, Ameri uh, under the U.S. Embassy. Um, it's a 149,000 U.S. dollars project cool. that um, it's helping to gear towards helping young entrepreneurs and young people um, start and grow their businesses to the next level. Um, through this, we realize that young entrepreneurs and businesses face series of challenges in regards to um, how they manage their businesses, how they manage their thing. Um, and statistics have shown that 80% of businesses that start up uh, will fail in the first five years of their operation mm -hmm. because of financial mismanagement, marketing issues, and the lack of um, the technical know-how to move their businesses forward. And this is what the project is geared towards um, tackling. This is where the, pro the project is geared toward. And this, at the same time, discouraging youth from um, the illegal migration, giving them that opportunity to start and grow that business that will employ more generation, more peoples, and yeah, the project's main aim is geared towards building an entrepreneurial ecosystem in the country. Now, how, how do you normally help young Gambians? Is it that I would just, as an individual, I just come, on, come to your office and say, I want to start up a business, or what are the procedures? Yes, um, currently we have um, different procedures in regards to um, how we move on to the next level as to, you have to fill an application form that we have, and after we fill the application form and you put your application details in it, you don't basically have to have a business plan, or do you don't need this field based to have to but you have to start your business at least. And those who didn't have a business plan at the idea stage, they can put their idea into paper and then you can actually come back and fill the form um, and drop it to the office. And then you'll be shortlisted into call for interview and then we'll select candidates. Uh, we're currently in fact at the first batch of 20, which will be going on for training shortly. And um, it's geared towards supporting them to build their businesses, helping them how to strategize, um, helping them how to learn the business management skills to to make sure their businesses grow on to the next level. And the other thing that we also intend to do is going to be a practical base and um, networking initiatives. Um, as part of the project, we intend to set up a, a center where young entrepreneurs and people that are starting their businesses and don't have office space or even have meager spaces in their houses can come out and use this office space with a um, basically this thing where they're going to settle down. Uh, will they'll have all facilities that they have to get to run their businesses. And then they will have mentors and coaches and people, experts that will come and talk to them and mentor them to grow to the next level. And, and there will be a little bit of um, seed funding which will be given out in terms of um, in a loan scheme kind of so that we can support all the people that are coming on. So this is the entire concept of the project, and this is what we have been working on. In a couple of uh, weeks, uh, we will be launching the first trading for those 20, and we'll be selecting the next three months again for another batch of 20. Excellent. Yeah. That's, that's, that's excellent. Um, OK, we have a caller. Hello? Yeah, hello. Welcome hello. to the show. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. How are you? Fine. We are fine. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my name is Daniel. You're okay. Well, yeah, my accent is there. Turbi Akwe Kole. I'm on Mr. Minte. Mr. Minte, okay. You're mm. looking at the topic, be? Yeah. The contribute. Mm hmm. Gambian, you know, as an African. Mm hmm. But you're going to make a lot of people who have ever slaughtered. Okay. I'm the South. Mr. Minte, it's a network bang a break. Uh, Mr. Minte? Oh. Mr. Minte, it's a network bang a break. I'm afraid we'll have to hang up yeah, the call. Hello? Uh, network reset with network that. Yes, I'm afraid we have to hang up your call. And um, we ha before we go, uh, Ali Ujalo, your final words. We almost ran out of time. Um, as you said, I just like to mention, um, in regards to the young entrepreneurs, uh, we're doing um, a networking event where we're bringing young entrepreneurs together. Uh, we conducted one last month, every last month, Friday of the last month. We we'll do invite people to come over business and young professionals mm -hmm. and network and share experiences and things like that. This is one activity that we're doing under the Young Entrepreneurs Association. Uh, and my last word is that um, people have to persist. And with persistence, with hard work and determination, Success will always, on, will always be rich. One last question. Yes. You've never traveled beyond Senegal, Dakar. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had this thing called NAV syndrome, even for a day? <laughs> Answer in, in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's a no, yes. 
No, yes. Yeah, no, because, no, that's not um, specific. Like, okay, <laughs> let's say um, yes in the instance, like, uh, because most of the time when you're young, you have this culture that of success is always determined by you traveling. Traveling, yeah, yeah, right. So in your head, in your mind, it's like success has been traveling. Yeah, yeah. But thank God I was able to overcome it to know that. Naps in the nap syndrome and things like that. So yeah, to, yeah, the, yeah. to the viewers, having a nap syndrome is not unusual or, yeah, yeah. or just a crazy thing. Yeah. It's normal, but you have to learn how to overcome yeah, it yeah. and you know, know that your potential do not lie in Europe, but with you wherever you may be. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go for a break and when we come back, so that show continues. Hi, my name is Jocelyn and you're watching What's Up? Uh, well, I think young or uh, youth should stop going to Barkway because there's future in Africa. Before the European continents was what they are, our great grandparents were taken from this place to that place. When you utilize your hands well, then you can actually do better things for your own nation instead of going to another country to go and wash toilets, go and clean uh, uh, dead bodies. It's best you started from where you're from. For that, you will actually know that, okay, this is what I'm doing for my state. If, if I can't achieve anything, how about we organize ourselves and go meet a labor, the, uh, labor organization to know how to um, talk on it or deliberate on how our salaries or wages can be increased. If you and I and others stay together in our country, make our country a better place, let us also make our country a better place, whereby other people, other countries can also want to depend and rely on us. Let's say, for instance, you can never see Obama that is sick, he should, they should bring Obama to Africa for treatment. It's not done. If we also work in our country and achieve the best, let others also come to our country to seek for treatment rather than us going through the back way. Back way is just for people to go and perish their life. If you look at what they are doing to them there, I watch a video on YouTube, uh, some illegal immigrants in Angola. If you see the way they treat them as if they are not human beings. Because we are the one causing this to ourselves. If we stay in our country and make our life better, go to school, achieve the best for ourselves, not until government give you work or you work in a better place. You can use your ideas to create jobs for yourself. You can learn and work rather than flying back with it. Seriously, it's uncalled for. Your topic is very, very significant as far as, you know, this you know, country is concerned. Because we need the young ones, the potential individuals. Going to back we cannot solve our problem. This, the one going to work with, they are very productive and they can contribute in the social development of this country. If you go to work with, spending two or more years in the campus, you are not productive. In fact, you, you are even a liability to the country. So that will increase the burden in the country. Once we leave our poor homes, especially the rural areas, you know, an influx to the urban later now moving to Europe, you know, that actually is something that we need to really look into as, as, as young people, as a community. Uh, and also we call on partners, we call on the EU, we call on the developed or so-called developed world to also look into this issue and, and place some central decentralized uh, uh, programs, projects and relax visas, for example, because these are things that are also affecting our young ones. Because if I keep applying um, for a visa for so many years and in the end I'm not getting anything, automatically I'll, I'll be prompted to do something. What I'm going to advise the students is that let them try by all means to pursue in their education. Because education also it's, it is a, I mean, it's contribute a lot to the development of, this, of the country. Because it's going to be the student who are going to be the leader of the future generation. So for that being the case, I'll advise, I'll urge all the students to focus, concentrate, and hold on to their education. And, and another advice is that let those who went to the back way, let that not motivate them to stop their education and follow them. Because no one knows, maybe this education is where their future lies on. So I'll go every student to pursue their education. Back way, I have been to Spain before. I spent there some three years, and I've seen what has happened over the years. I've seen reports of people drowning, that is on a daily basis almost. 
And actually, sometimes you go and you don't have anything to do there. You spend there years and years and you spend time on camps and nothing happens. No work, you are not released sometimes. And then after you are released, you will be depending on someone else. I think it's bad. You better stay. <laughs> uh, big thank you to mommy for the look. I, I love it. I adore it. And as I said, beautiful yeah. on the inside and as well on the outside. Well, uh, today we're talking about illegal migration, Komasilo, back with Yoni Ganao to Europe. Okay, and um, we make here in Bayaje. So, we make here in Bayaje. 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 Where is the future of the family again? So invest wisely. Yeah, it's very important. Do you, you yeah. have something to say? Yeah. Um, regarding just the, you're talking about the amount of money they're going to lose and mm -hmm. things like that. Um, if we can actually, if you can, the Do amount a basic of money. Math. Yeah, <laughs> just a basic math about it. Um, the hundred thousand dollars is you're going to pay, or the two hundred thousand you're going to pay to get to the back way, or the number of amount of money you and times you apply for visa and get rejected. Yeah. If you invest that money in any business in this country. Believe me, in next than well, two like three years, you'll, you'll be a millionaire. <laughs> so <laughs> the fact is, people have to be more wise and um, really yeah. um, take decisions wisely. And I'll just encourage this thing: uh, where people are determined to move forward, where people are centered to move forward, young people should take the lead. And the institutions, the stakeholders should work with young people and young mm -hmm. people that are doing so well, like the open doors and provided collaboration access you know that access for young people to get the support that they need to move to the next level yes so my last word is keep persisting and never tr stop trying okay. and then i'm gonna say in french uh, nous sommes uh, nous sommes vraiment les, les gambiens les jeunes gambiens donc vraiment on doit assis ici et travailler pour uh, la gambie c'est ça Okay, this is on next week. My daha, ten English. We Brema, Brema, Brema. Next week, my daha. Um, seven percent. Oh my, oh my God. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Just, just to wrap up. Um, the advice to people out there is, um, parents. Yeah. Parents, stop pushing your sons and daughters to the illegal migration. Um, I think the result and the cost effect actually is frustration. Yeah. Parents should be careful. You don't. do teams are dumb. Nang kone. Uh, the and secondly um something am wealthy people you am Hi to Sophie. Sophie, thank you very much for your call. Eh? It was really good, huh? Yes. Till we come your way again. Okay. All right. Thank you. See you. Oh, one more boy. Tell me more. Asan, Asan, nanga nyo wade wade. Please wade. You look like on her. By someone yes. who nah, is nah, willing, he said Bakwe can be the best way, he's there. Yes, right, I'm not going to show. What's your name? Joy Nguama. Joy Nguama. Not Nguama, Nguama. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Developing another man's country. Basically, it's my opinion. Hmm. Am I done? Wait, why is still videoing? So, are you going to edit this part? Huh? Duh. You might have me. Yeah. Uh, I would not go for the <laughs> Isn't he done? Whatever. Let me see. I can't even go to the other one. Please, please, please. 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 Please, please
Your name again? My name is Abdurrahman Keta. <laughs> Abdurrahman can talk this man. The secretary general. And so what have you? So what do you think? What I think. To those who are there, or to those who are planning to go. Don't Wait, tomorrow. can you what have? What have you? Your name again? Joy. Joy. Joy no one. Video of man Kena. Hi, my name is Kelly. My name is Jocelyn. My name is Linger. And you're watching Wansa. No, to do it together. Uh, comment, no. Now I'm going to introduce myself as a candidate. No. no. Why not? We are not doing the advertisement <laughs> unless you pay us. Your name? Uh, <coughs> my name is Lamin in Bajinkia. Thank you. Lamin in Bajinkia. Oh, come on, please. Mm -hmm. Save my life. Uh, it's good. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, just, don't worry, Acha, don't worry. Can I see my first reply? No, sir. Yes, yes. Guys, guys, guys. Can you please keep it down? Okay. okay. Uh, sir, your name? Uh, so, my name is Pamaka Samate. I am watching WhatsApp.